Well, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. So, my truck and trailer are loaded for tomorrow. For those that don't know, that is a 74 Mazda rotary pickup. It's off to Chicago next week. Got a new engine. Well, rebuilt. Yours truly. I'm driving it for the next week, making sure it'll make the drive back to its new home in Illinois. But, uh, figure today's video, we'll, I'll get started on this log pile that's just right in front of me behind the camera. And we'll get that whittled down. Oh, something else I probably should show you. For those of you that have been around a while, this over here is my primary, my primary log yard. I have not been able to have that big of a hole to where I can back the truck and trailer in to start pulling from those stacks in just about a year. So the goal I had this week was get those logs cut up, split up, moved out. All of that debris is from the four-way and that's roughly about four cords. So not bad. I've already loaded up uh, two wheelbarrow loads, dumped them in the fire pit, burned them last week. And uh, this week, I'll just do it again. Help keep uh, the debris down and the yard somewhat cleaned and organized for within reason. But today, let me show you this log pile I got and let's get and show you what's in it. So mainly in this pile here, we have fir and ash. Um, for those that don't know, for here in the Pacific Northwest, we mainly burn uh, fir. And we do have ash, but not very much of it. So give you an idea. That's roughly about a two and a half, three cord pile. And here's the back side of it. But we need to get it cut up and started on. And I figure over the next Figured over the next two months, we'll get it moved out. My goal is to all be done by middle of September, early October. And the way things are going, looks like that'll just happen, including all of those piles and their stacks right there. So let's get the camera rolling. I'll go put my chaps on and get us all warmed up and We'll just, we'll just go. I am using the newer uh, 461. Warranty expires on 30-day warranty on that expires, uh, I believe, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, I bought it on the 31st. It expires on 31st. So run it till it quits. In the meantime, just treat it like I did the other one and. Make it work.
about a half a tank. Not bad for, not bad for roughly, I don't know, half hour of cutting. So, I'll organize these up a little better. I'll keep cutting. I do have a t-shirt that came in. So, uh, let me go open it up and see what we got. Okay, well here it is. Not all rotten out of it yet. Anyway, this one's from Allen Family Firewood. He's doing a uh, a t-shirt, wet t-shirt contest. And the way it works is you go over to his channel. I'll put a link in the description to the video. Uh, he is down at the moment. He did, he uh, hurt his thumb a couple weeks ago on the, on the splitter. So I'll put a link in the description for the video of the rules and how it works, but basically, it's my understanding, he sends you a t-shirt, and with hot August nights coming around, how fast can you soak it? No rain, no hoses, just with sweat. So, we'll see how I do. Uh, I don't usually do too bad. It doesn't seem to ma matter what I do. If I'm building engines or cutting firewood, I am sweating a lot. Um, I have been known to have the, the shop bay doors open in the middle of the winter time and it's snowing and I have the doors wide open and I'm still sweating. It's basically in an ice box. So that's just how I am, this is how I work, whatever. But I figured out here in the summer heat of Washington State, this ought to be fun. So anyway, there we go. So, until next week, thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And uh, if you see this, this along Interstate 90 somewhere, give them a thumbs up. And I will find out if he has a YouTube channel as well. And if he's willing to post it up and share. So it is gonna be a journey for this this little truck. So anyway, thank until next week. Travel safely. <laughs>